I'm just getting into the green half of the week. Well, the green half went away. It's all blue now. Some weeks later, after our semester, semestral break? I don't know if semestral is a word. Michael had called me to the, or to head into the student body council after, or no, into the student body council office after class hours, as he needed to discuss about certain things with me before we both head to the literature club. Needless to say, after my afternoon class sessions, I quickly head into the office and meet up with him there. Glad you could join me, Erica. Hey, Michael. Oh, what did you need me to discuss about? Well, first and foremost, I want to apologize for doubting Azure and Victor's progress in the Literature Club for the past few months. After observing how things have changed since joining a couple months ago, I'm actually surprised to see a lot of major changes between those two now. Azure is more helpful, takes his school activities more seriously, and overall improving so much that I didn't think would be possible. Even Victor's improvements are as crazy as Azure's. Point is, I want to actually apologize to you and thank you for having brought them together into the Literature Club. I honestly shouldn't have doubted your judgment on them both, but I guess that's just how it is when you've gotten used to tolerating those two goofballs as long or goofballs long enough. Yeah. Well, I always had faith in those two, you know. Despite how much of a chaotic duo those two are, they're always willing to go the extra mile to be the best. Mm hmm. I'll have to say though, both of them are quite getting along with the other club members. Victor's hanging out with Wally and Yuri more often. And Azure would say, right too. Yeah, that. Hmm? Something the matter, Erica? Oh, nothing really. Just happy that they're getting along with, er, well, with others. You know, I'm not that dense to figure out that you're not really okay, right? Huh? Erica, the more you hide it, the more it's going to hurt. How long are you exactly going to hide the fact you like Azure? Michael, it's... Not that easy for me. I know it isn't. But the longer you wait, the more you'll lose you'll lose sight of him to someone else. Almost all of us have noticed you or how you've started to act very differently around them both. Jealousy is one hell of a drug, Erica. I speak with experience here for the both of us. But Asher's not going to be within your grasp anytime soon. No, Asher's not going to Yeah, it was written right, I read it wrong. Sooner or later, you're gonna lose the chance or you're gonna lose the chance to be with someone you'd like to someone he's starting to like. Think about it, Erica. Michael picks up his things before standing up as he puts his hand on my shoulder. Take the leap before you lose the chance. Before you lose the chance. He then leaves the office and heads off to the third club. Don't listen to him, Erica. You need to stay true to your husband from another dimension. Michael's right. I have grown feelings for Azure over the years. I just didn't want it to show it because I only saw him as a means to reunite with someone more important. But I did not think it would come to a point that I would see him with more than just that. Going as far as trying to squeeze my way into his life when he already had other things to focus on other, or, or, other than me. I was growing jealous of Sayori too. Azure was starting to get along with her so much. I was at a point of complete confusion of what I needed to do. Be with Azure, or continue with the goal to find those more important to me. I guess there's only one way for this to end. Kill him. It's gonna be a rainy week. Some weeks passed by later after that conversation I had with Michael. Oh wait, so it's not the next day, it's <laughs> it's weeks later. We'll assume it's the, the next day, weeks later. There you go. It was the last week before the school's foundation day. The club's members have done all their parts to make sure the syllabus is at its best when we present for the event. Needless to say, before this day ends, I need to make sure I let Azure know something I should have told him a long time ago. All right, everyone. I'd like to address with this announcement to everyone in this room right now that this year's Literature Club may be the best one we've had yet. And I'd like to congratulate each one of you for having brought us all this far together. We've had our fair share of struggles, no, struggles, here and there. I will admit that. 
and Beth we muscled our way through these problems, or those problems together, and came out stronger than ever. We all then clap our hands, congratulating ourselves for having made it through this year, or this far. Now, or, now we know for a fact that today will be our last club meeting, as next week we will be, or, or yeah, next week will be the big day. But I'd like to continue with our ongoing activities. Don't need a hyphen ongoing, actually. It's all one word. Just to help give everyone a little more kick of confidence and motivation towards the big day. It's definitely not bad to be a little more confident and motivated to play our parts for the Foundation Day, right? That being said, let us proceed with today's activities. After Michael's announcement, we continued with our usual activity of poem sharing with the other club members. I, of course, take the time to share my poem with the others, as they also did to me. I will admit that the others' poems have improved so much that if you were to compare the first ones they made before to the new ones, you couldn't tell if they were the ones who really wrote it. After sharing it to most of the other club members, I walk over to Azure, whom is the last I had in mind. Hey, Erica. Hey. You good? You seem like you've had a lot on your mind lately. Oh no, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Er, you sure? You know, you could just tell me things you want to say to me, right? I've gotten quite the hang of it well, er, with listening to others. That's why if you have something in mind that's been bothering you, you can certainly count on me to lend a shoulder. I, I see. Thanks, Asher. So, uh... Yeah? Oh? Uh, oh, right. I completely forgot about that. It's okay. I hand Asher my poem as he hands me his. Hand dog. It seemed like before, my life was all but a mess. Because of you, I got the chance to fix it all again. I want to thank you, my dear friend. At least through this poem I wrote for you. It seemed like before, I almost lost control of my only life. Because of you, I finally got all of it back in control now. That's why this poem I've written for you, I give to you as my thanks. It seemed like before, my voice didn't want to be heard. Because of you, my mind was heard and finally understood. This is why I loved you so much, my dearest friend. I may forget and go on my own path, but there is this one poem that will be left in our memory because we were together once. His uh, poem, it has really changed from the first time so much. Yeah, I guess that apostrophe S works there. It's almost matched with how Seori writes her own poems. Asher, your poem's gotten really good. Like, if I were to compare this with the first poem you ever wrote, it makes me wonder if you really wrote this one. Heh. <laughs> Yours, though. This is so surreal, Erica. I really like how you expressed yourself in this. Thanks, Asher. Hey, can I ask you something real quick? Oh, wait. No, that was, that was, that was Erica asking. Wasn't it? Yeah, it was Erica. I messed up. Oh, sure. Go ahead. After this, could you meet me up at the school rooftop after this, after this, after this? I need to tell you something real quick. It's just something I should have told you a while ago, but didn't have the time to do so. Oh, of course, Erica. Thank you. After we both shared poems, we returned each other's poems back as I put mine back in my bag before picking it up and heading out of the club room discreetly as everyone is still busy with the activity. I waited for Azure to arrive up here in the school roof with me. Whilst waiting, I then once again take out the very first poem I made during the first day of the club. Let's see, is it is that the same one as before? I don't think it is. You. At the drop of every hour that goes by, you're the one I'm constantly thinking. I can't stop the beating of my heart. Or is it? Looks like they rewrote it a little. Okay, hold on. Yeah, you were the one I longed so much when I started realizing that some or someday the heart learned to love again. You are the love that I waited for, the heart that felt empty for you so, or for so long, but finally now that you are here, you are the love that God has sent to me. You are the gift of my life. You are my joy and love. I wrote this because this was a letter to my, of my confession to Asher. I originally wrote it as a way to tease him like I usually do with him and Victor. At first, I never really understood why I even wrote something this cheesy in the first place. But now it all makes sense now, now. Michael was right. I love Azure. Or, I loved Azure. I've grown so fond of him over those years, 
that being with him made me want to start loving again. And this time, I want to stay with him. This time, I want to be with him. I was given this chance to learn to love again, and I will not waste it. A couple minutes pass. Ezra hasn't come up to meet me up here on the rooftop just yet. Strange, the club session should have already ended by now, if not just a few minutes ago. I'll wait a few more minutes before heading back down to see if he's still there. Almost an hour has passed now, and Azure still hasn't shown up. Showed up. I quickly make my way back down to the school and to the club room. And much to my surprise, most of the others are still here. Save for Sayori and Azure. The others are still here, and both of them gone makes me worry. I walk over to Michael and Monica, who, like the others, seem very sad about something. Michael, what's going on here? Oh, Erica. I thought you had gone home already. I didn't. I was waiting for Azure at the rooftop. But Azure left an hour ago already. What? Why? You don't know? Don't know what? Uh, Michael cut her some slack. We didn't know until Kiara, Mio, and Michelle told us about it earlier. Oh, about what exactly? You guys aren't making any sense of, at the slightest. Erica, we just found out that Sayori's best friend, Hallie, passed away recently. I'm dead! What? Yes, her best friend passed away recently. We never knew about it until some of her friends told us about it a while ago. Before Azure left, Sayori went home early. Remember why she's been down as of late? Yeah, yeah. We did notice Sarah was rather down lately and would rarely speak to us. She, however, would only talk with Azure during the time. I honestly thought it was because she started seeing Azure different than and would only start talking to him. Oop, I clicked out. What? But this. I didn't know. That's the reason why she's been down these past few days. And that's also the reason why Azure followed after her an hour ago. He wanted to make sure she was fine. I, I see then. I then turned around and or, no, I then turn around and slowly make my way out of the cl club room. I left the classroom with a rather heavy heart, not because of the revelation I just found out, but because Azure left me hanging up there alone. For Sayori. I'm not exactly upset. Okay, who am I kidding exactly? This got me completely upset. But I still had hope though. The only, er, er, he only went to her to make sure she was fine. I shouldn't, or it shouldn't be that bad, right? You're gonna spite a man for comforting his grieving friend. Why was I very wrong? <sighs> okay, so it jumps around sometimes, but yeah, if the, hmm. I guess the suggestion I would have for that screen is if it's going to be like a time jump, like multiple weeks. Uh, maybe include like the uh, the day of the week as well. Like, not, well, not the day of the week. I mean, like the, the the one two three date of the week. Like, what part of the month they're in? Because that would make it clear. Because like, if it's if it's Wednesday the fifth, and then it jumps to Thursday the sixteenth or something, then it's clear to the re the reader how much time has passed. Instead of it being like, oh, it's a day later. A week later, Foundation Day had finally arrived. We were all heavily occupied with all our parts with making the club presentable for today's occasion. Or, a cash -in. I was assigned with Elise, Amy, and Michael, or, no, Michelle, with handling the people coming to see the club. Inviting them in as they check out the clubs. The boys, on the other hand, did most of the heavy lifting, whilst the rest of the girls did all the decorations, while some of the boys helped them. I can't actually believe we're really doing this. Yeah. One day ago, we just barely knew each other. The next thing we know, we're helping each other like we're second family in this club. All of us being together as the reason why we're here now. My big Kuya got all of us to get along together. Mm -hmm. Thanks to Michelle, really. And of course, each one of us as well. The club wouldn't really be here if it weren't for the each one of us doing our parts for it. We all truthfully agree at Michelle's notion. She was definitely right. 
If it weren't for us, the club nor any of us wouldn't be here right now. Well, whilst we were helping our... Or, whilst... Sorry. Whilst we were helping tour guide people and other various guests into our club, Michelle walks over to the three of us. Or, did it say Michelle or Michael? No, it definitely said Michael. Oh my goodness. I feel like there's a breaking point at which there are literally too many characters. Sorry to bother you there for... Or bother you three for a bit. But have any of you seen Sayori and Azure? Sayori and Azure? No, we haven't seen them. Yeah, we haven't seen them yet. It's not like those two to be late. Azure, I could probably understand. But for Sayori... No, I don't want to take This is the first time I've... S this is the first time I've seen her la would be seen. Fix your auto on index boxes, please. Hey! We're interrupted by what appears to be Sayori and Azure heading over to the club together. And they both seem to be holding hands all the way here. Sorry, we were late, everyone! We just got a little sidetracked on the way here. Y yeah, sorry about us being late, Michael. We're all in all together. Not because of these two being played together, but the fact something very different with or something's very different with Sayori. Wow, Sayori! Your hair is so beautiful! And you've even buttoned your blazer. Yeah, don't you always keep it unbuttoned because how stuffy it is? Oh, it's fine. We want it to be presentable for the club's most important day. Of course, I shouldn't look like a total mess in front of Azure now that we've started dating. I, should I comment on the unfortunateness of that edit? Uh, we were all generally surprised by what Sarah had just said. They're dating. Since when were you two dating? It, or just recently, actually. I, I see. The others all have their eyes on me. They know this is hurting me deep inside. Erica, are you all right? Yeah, yeah I'm fine. Uh, look, I just need to get something back at the student body office real quick. I won't take long. I quickly make my way out of the club, avoiding eye contact with literally everyone. <laughs> 